Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at how to draw and interpret bar charts. So bar charts or bar graphs, you might also know them as, are typically used to show comparisons between categories of data. So the categories of data that I am going to use today are methods of transport that students use to travel to school. So we're going to start off, first of all, with drawing an x-axis along the bottom and a y-axis up the side of our graph. So as we are drawing a bar chart, our categories of data we want to compare go along our x-axis. In this case, it's method of transport. Now I'm going to try and evenly distribute these methods of transport along the x-axis, providing enough space so that when I draw my bars, they're going to be wide enough and easy to compare. Now, at the side of our y-axis, we're then going to have our total number of students who take that method of transport. And what I will do is look at the table and look at the highest number I will need to go up to, in which case this is 67, and then I will again evenly distribute the numbers up my y-axis until I reach that maximum number that I can plot on my graph. So I'm deciding to take the easiest route, which is to go up in tens in this case. I always recommend when we're drawing graphs to use a ruler, and then we'll start by looking at our table. So we're gonna start off with plotting the method walk first of all. So I always move my ruler in line with the Y axis. And then as indicated on the screen now, you can see that it is in line with that 50 number of students. And then I will take my ruler and draw with a pencil the top of my bar and then down the side again using the ruler. So I've got a nice wide bar, which is clear and easy to read. We'll then continue this process by then showing the bar chart for car being indicated with 32 students, again, using that ruler in line with your Y axis and then tilting it on its side so you get a nice straight line in between your different categories. We will then continue this process, so on and so forth, for bus, for train, constantly using that ruler to ensure we've got straight, accurate lines for our bars. And obviously our other category is empty, so it does not need a bar drawn for that one. To finish off your bar chart, always give it a nice clear title so everyone can understand what data you have presented. And then you also might want to go the extra mile and actually shade in the bars. Now, please be mindful about the color or colors you pick in this case. If you want to use multiple colors, it's not really advised to do that with a standard bar chart like this, just showing one category of data. So I have only shown method of transport as my one category of data here, in which case really all my bars should be the same color. If we were looking to create a bar chart that needed different colors because we have different categories, then that would be more useful there to use different colors. Now, once you have drawn your graph and finished it off and it's got a nice clear title in your axis labels, you might then want to interpret and pick out what your data is actually showing you. This could be things, for example, like which method of transport was the most popular? In this case, it's the bus. Which method of transport is the least common method? In which case, it is traveling to school via a bike. You might also want to take it further and develop your wider geographical thinking. Which methods of transport are the most sustainable? Are these methods the most common methods taken by students to travel to school? And we can then start to draw out this wider geographical perspective just by looking at these types of graphs, thinking about the data further. I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.